Okay, so we're now going to start talking about um, another thing that we'll learn the math of. We're going to start talking about vectors. So most things you've dealt with in math so far have just been a single quantity. So in word problems, you've seen something like 18.5 feet. Or you've had a weight, maybe 24 kilograms or 65 miles per hour. And we call these scalars, okay, just when you have a single number describing a measurement. Okay, now vector quantities are actually going to um, have two measurements, a magnitude and a direction. So for example, we could say that you're, maybe you're driving 65 miles per hour south. Okay, that gives us how fast you're driving and um, a direction. Um, and it doesn't always have to be like um, direction like south. Um, maybe you've been in a physics class and you've seen problems where we talk about a force of maybe, let's say, five pounds acting downward on an object, okay? So whenever you kind of have a magnitude, so how big something is or how fast or whatever, and then an, a direction it's going on something, this is a vector. So our vectors, um, and vectors we could actually have more than two measurements. So these are two-dimensional vectors. Um, you could have, say, three-dimensional vectors or four-dimensional vectors vectors. So vectors can be shown as a line with an arrow. So how long it is is going to be its magnitude and then what direction it is is its direction. So um, you know let's say we wanted to go north maybe we'd do something like this and we'd however long that is so we could even say oh you've gone five miles north that would be a vector. Um, and we normally put these on an axis so we could put that at the origin okay or we could have another vector maybe you're driving 60 miles um, southeast so notation vectors we either use a bold letter or sometimes You'll see um, a little arrow above the top of it to let you know that that's a vector. So the magnitude then is going to be the length, and we use this kind of double absolute value bar. Okay, now, when we're putting vectors on a coordinate axis, you don't always have to start them at the origin for them to be equal. The only two things that you need for a vector to be equal, or two vectors to be equal to each other, is for them to have the same magnitude in the same direction. So they don't necessarily need to be in exactly the same spot. So if we're looking at these two pair of vectors to see if they're equal, these two are parallel, and if you measured them, they're in the same direction. So yes, we would say, or they're the same length. So we'd say yes, these two are equal. Now these two obviously aren't in the same direction and aren't even the same length. So these two are not equal. Okay, so that's just a very quick introduction to vectors and we'll learn more about them next.